Hey everybody, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and today I have another Blu-ray haul for you guys. Now, I have my partners at Movie Scene Canada. If you have not checked them out yet, definitely do so. Their link is in the description. But we always like to exchange different Blu-rays because they always have a ton of Blu-rays in their stock, and they actually had quite a few that they wanted to get rid of. And there's a local store in my area called Willow Video, and if you guys want to check out the video where I go around and show you guys that store, it'll be right here. But I took a lot of those movies into the store to trade in, but they also said, Brandon, Here's a couple of movies that we want you to unbox on the channel. So I actually don't know what's in this. And it comes in this really nice Warner Brothers bag. But when I went to the store, I also saw some things in clearance and I picked some things up. So I decided let's just make one giant Blu-ray 4K unboxing December update video. So let's start off with what I got at Willow Video. Now, the only 4K that I was able to get there was The Mummy from 1999. Uh, a very fun movie. I have the Blu-ray uh, steelbook of this, but now I have it in glorious 4K. I've heard that this version is amazing. Apparently it looks phenomenal. Next up we got Public Enemies. This is just a Blu-ray upgrade from DVD. Uh, Robin Hood, I've heard some mixed things, but I also heard that, you know what, it's not too terrible. So for two bucks, decide to give it a chance. <laughs> Uh, Meryl Streep in this movie, man, I hate her, but that's because she plays such a great villain. That is The Devil Wears Prada. A movie that it was very hard to watch, but for $2 I added it to my collection, that is 12 Years a Slave. Another Best Picture winner, which I actually really enjoy. I'm in the minority on this one, apparently, according to everyone else on the internet, and that is Crash. For 2 bucks, upgrading from DVD to Blu-ray, I can't go wrong. Then again, people will say that I'm going wrong with just buying that movie, but I digress. A uh, movie I've never seen before, but I want to give it a shot. That is The Help. Another upgrade from DVD to Blu-ray, that is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I've only seen this movie once a long time ago. For two bucks, I'll give it another chance on Blu-ray. And this one is pretty fun for me because uh, it's, it's a local thing. This is the CTV Vancouver 2010 five disc Blu-ray set for the Vancouver 2010 Winter Olympics. Now, I was 15 when the Olympics came to my hometown, and it was a ton of fun. People from all around the world were visiting. There was just this vibe in the air, and with Canada winning as many gold medals as it did, it was a ton of fun, and I cannot wait to relive this on Blu-ray. So I saw this for three for three ninety nine. I'm like, yeah, I'll relive that for that much. And I actually picked up two uh, video games as well. I picked up Batman: Arkham City for three bucks for PS3. I just rewatched the uh, the Dark Knight trilogy on 4K, and it's it's amazing. So I'm in a Batman mood, so I might give this one a chance. And then for two ninety nine, I got the God of War collection for PS3. So uh, I don't need to go back to my PS2 version for the God of War. I've never actually played God of War 2. So for video game fans, should I check this out? For three bucks, I thought, might as well. Okay, so here comes the big bag of goodies. Now, I, I see some uh, Blu-rays in here, but I actually don't know what's in here yet. So let's go with, ah, Bridge of Spies. Gotcha. You know what? I was lukewarm on this movie, but I think it's worth giving another chance to because, you know, you have Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, Mark Rylance, and, you know, it even says one of Spielberg's finest films. It's a movie that I've wanted to give another chance to. Next up, we got, oh, I got A Star Is Born, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Um, that one song, it's been stuck in my head for years, but it's a pretty good movie. Next up, we have The Man Who Invented Christmas. You know what? I think they sent me this because they knew that my mom wanted to see this. My mom was talking about this. So, uh, family movie night. Here it is. The Man Who Invented Christmas. Here you go, mom. All right, what else we got here? We got, ah, Lady Bird. Very good movie. Greta Gerwig. Uh, Sir Ronan. This one really surprised me. I did not expect to like this movie that much, but now I have it in my collection. What else we got here? Ah ha ha ha! I was just talking about this one with movie files on the Brando show. La La Land. I gotta give this one another shot. I really enjoyed it in the theater, but I think I'm gonna love it even more on rewatch. Uh, what, what do we got next? Uh, <laughs> San Andreas. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, 2012 is like a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, you know, if it's like that, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. What do you guys think of San Andreas? I haven't seen it before. Uh, what else we got? We got Cake uh, with Jennifer Aniston. I heard that she was phenomenal in this movie because I think she was nominated or she won the Golden Globe. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, give this one another shot or give it a shot. Uh, what else we got here? We got a 4K copy of Blue Planet 2. Uh, surprisingly enough, I am a... 
fairly closeted fan of like the BBC Earth and like those really wonderfully shot IMAX nature documentaries. So seeing this in 4K, I'm excited to give this one a shot. Uh, and this one is actually a DVD, but this is uh, They Shall Not Grow Old. So this is the uh, documentary about um, World War One, I, I believe, uh, from Peter Jackson. I've heard so many g uh, great things about this. So uh, let's hope it looks good on DVD, but I'm, I'm sure it will because this is a pretty recent, uh, it's pretty new, isn't it? But anyway, I can't wait to give this one a shot too. All right, a couple more. Um, we got, ah, ha, 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 The Iron Giant. I have this on VHS. So it's a pretty big upgrade uh, from VHS to Blu-ray. One of the first reviews I ever did on this channel. Uh, don't go looking for it. It's probably terrible. <laughs> uh, ooh. Okay. I saw this in theaters last year. This is Apollo 11. Um, I'm a bit of a closeted space nerd too. Like I went to uh, Houston last year and I actually saw um, the NASA Space Center. Um, I don't know. I just geek out about that kind of stuff. Um... Here we got Detroit. Okay, I've heard many great things about this movie, but I've never seen it. So now I have a copy of it, and I gotta check it out. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, a 4K copy of Argo. So now I can upgrade my Blu-ray copy. Uh, this is a great movie. And uh, <laughs> sticking with the uh, Ben Affleck theme, we got The Town in 4K. So now this is an upgrade from my Blu-ray as well. Uh, again, Ben Affleck. I mean, I wonder if there's any other Ben Affleck ones in here. I don't think there is, but uh, still amazing. And oh, awesome. The Shining in 4K. I cannot wait to see this one in glorious 4K. I've heard that this movie looks amazing. And uh, you guys are too kind to me, Movie Scene Canada. 2001 A Space Odyssey in 4K. I've actually yet to see this movie. I know, shocker. Don't shoot me, internet. But I actually had it on uh, Blu-ray, and I was planning to watch it over the Christmas holiday, but now I have it in 4K. Wow, I cannot wait to see this. And it comes with a lot of different uh, special features. It has, like, posters, and it has, like, three discs. So I'm excited to give this one a shot as well. So, Movie Scene Canada, man, uh, Christmas came early. Like, holy crap. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as I did opening that. I mean, like... Man, I have so much content to watch over Christmas now, and so many videos to make. So this is good news for you guys, because now I have many more movies to watch, many more videos to make about these movies. And for the ones I haven't seen, which ones do you recommend me watching first? 2001 A Space Odyssey is probably going to be the first one, right? San Andreas? Maybe? Who knows? But whatever the case may be, leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below, and I thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.